Hello, it's Emma at The Launch Queen and this video is all about jot forms and jot forms can be used for lots of different things. It can be used to make you very pretty sign up forms but this particular video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create a survey on jot forms and the great thing about jot forms is that for the first 100 replies per month that you receive they are absolutely free. And then after that, it's $10 a month for the pro version. So it's a really cheap alternative for a way to get survey results and get some information out there. So I'm just going to log into my JotForm account. And I'm into my JotForm account. I've got lots of different uh, things in there, but I'm going to create a form. So you can use template. So you can have a look at the templates and there's lots of different templates here you can look at the categories you've got registration forms sign up forms evaluation forms contact forms surveys so if we have a look at the surveys then you can have um, them like that so it would be an event feedback survey where they could put satisfied not really satisfied poor blah blah you can have a survey form have a further look at it where did you hear about us? What browser are you using? Etc. Etc. Or you can create your own. So you can use a blank form. So the first thing that I would do on a blank form is I would bring in an image. So I would upload the image from my computer, choose a file, and I would go through into my branded images and Let's just choose. Oh, I don't think that one will upload. Let's not choose that one. Let's choose that one. Have to be a PNG file. That one was a TIFF. So that's fine. And there we are. And then you can just drag it in to fit into the page. So you can have a branded server. And then you can choose what you want to put in. So you could have a drop down. So it could be, for example, uh, where did you hear about us question mark and then in here you can add your options so option one could be facebook option two could be website option three could be twitter option four could be instagram youtube oops searched on google Press OK. And then they'll provide your drop down menu there. The next thing that you could include is you could include a radio button one. So that would be um, please confirm your uh, business. Press return. Then you can add in here uh, online service business online product business not a virtual online business add a new option only online for marketing purposes then you could add in a um, text area oh, edit text Tell me what you ooh, what you are struggling with right now. And then they can type text in. And you can have um, anything that you want. You can have a text box where you've written text in. So it could be just a box where they can write a, a reply. So um, what could it be? Do you want more information that could be a drop down that could be a text box it's entirely up to you you can pop in your own text double click on there thank you for popping by we would love it if you would answer our quick Survey. Oh, survey. Then you just press up there on complete. And then that goes in there. Then you've got your submit button. 
So you can look at your button alignment. You can take it to the centre. You can put an image on your button. You can change your submit text to whatever you want it to say. Please submit my answers. And if you were going to do a prize draw or something like that, you could put that in there um, just to encourage them along. So you can have all of that information on a job form there. Okay, so what would you then do with your job form? You need to set it up and embed it. So if you look at integrations, the easiest way to integrate your job form is to either Dropbox, I hate Windows 8, either to Dropbox or to your Google Drive. And I usually put them over to my Google Drive and it'll just ask you to go through to your Google Drive and set it up. Oops. It takes me through. Choose my Google Drive. Accept. Successful. Press next. Then I can give it a folder, so main folder, and it could be um, my feedback forms, submission folder name, you can just leave it as auto, you can press next, and it's all integrated with your Google Drive. You can change the title of your form so that you can see very quickly when you go into job forms what it is. So just click here and retype. Really easy. So once you've integrated that, then all you need to do is be able to embed it. So you can take an embed code and you can have, um, for example, you can embed it on Facebook, take the WordPress website um, information. So all you would do is double click on that, right click, copy it take it over to the text section of your WordPress page and press paste or you can embed that um, as I say on Facebook or you can take an email embed code and send it by email to people um, or take this code here for easy distribution if you wanted to put it on your Facebook in a Facebook message or in your um, newsletter or anything like that you just take that on there and then once your form is completed and you've integrated it and you've taken out the embed code and embedded it wherever you want to, that is it done. You can preview your form to see what it would look like. That's how it would look to people who received it. There's the URL for if you want to um, copy and paste it again. And it's there for you to use. And when somebody fills it out, the replies will automatically go into your Google Drive or into your Dropbox, whichever you've chosen. So that is how you can use job forms for cheap and easy to design um, surveys. Bye for now.